Hi, welcome to the clinic today. It's really good to see you. Yes, how are you? Mm-hmm. Okay, so a bit of a rough week. Yeah, sure. Well, today I'm just going to be having a look at your teeth and just to see how they are, uh, just give you a good routine examination. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm going to be looking at which teeth you have, whether all of them have come through or... All oh, right, yes. Mm-hmm, wisdom teeth. Yes. Yeah, I'll have a look. Um, because sometimes, um, we can have new teeth come through, which can be very difficult to clean. And I want to make sure that you're reaching those hard-to-get-to areas, because they can cause a fair few problems. Mm-hmm, yeah, sure. Okay, so, I'm just going to take some basic information from you first, just so I can get a bit of your dental background. Yep. Okay. Right. Okay, so, what's your full name, please? Mm -hmm. Yep. Date of birth? Yep. When was the last time? that you went to the dentist. Okay, so it's been a while. Mm. So you've registered with us now. Okay. So they've probably got most of your details, but it's just good for me to know a little bit now on the spot, so I don't have to read through your whole file. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Have you had any particular problems with your teeth in the past? Yeah. Have you had any cleanings before? Have you had um, any um, fillings? I will, yes, I'll have a look and check them for you, no problem. Um, and I'll have a look and see if there um, is any problems with the crowns of your teeth, um, or whether you have any problems with your gums. Um, because it's really good to spot whether you have the early signs of gum disease. Yes, a lot of us can have it, um, and it's often kept away by really good rigorous cleaning and using um, tooth, tooth floss, dental floss, and also um, mouthwash. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How often would you say you floss your teeth? Mm, yeah, it's sometimes not something people think about, especially if they don't tend to get things stuck between their teeth. But the really good thing about dental floss is that it gets to the areas between your teeth where there might be a build-up of plaque. So it's not always just about whether there is food trapped there or not, um, but the plaque can build up in those little tiny areas. Mm, yes. Do you use a normal manual toothbrush or an electric toothbrush? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I definitely advise getting an electric toothbrush if you don't use one because they can be uh, quite good at getting into those little gaps in between your teeth. Mm. Yes, yes, of course. Um, if you are worried about general erosion of your teeth, then just don't do it for so long. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had um, orthodontics? Oh, I mean braces, sorry. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Yep. Is it anything? Is it something that you um, would ever consider in the future? Okay. Yep. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, have you had any? Ex ex extractions at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And let's have a look. Do you wear dentures? <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, some people do though. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we might get you in for um, pro prophylaxis, or oh, that it means um, teeth cleaning. Yeah, just a general sort of 
all over. We'll include that surface view if you like. Yeah, sure. Um, what we'll do is we'll take an x-ray of your teeth just to see how they're coming through, especially if you have any wisdom teeth which haven't quite come through yet. It'd be really good for us to see how they're forming. Um, I'm sorry about my tummy, <laughs> it's making little noises. But it would be really good um, for us to see if you have any wisdom teeth which are coming through at um, an angle which um, can cause pressure on your other teeth and can mean that they can be quite painful. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Okay, so um, we'll give you a scaling and um, on all of your teeth, just to check and make sure that they're as wonderful as they can be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is put on a box. I want to make sure that I keep as hygienic as possible. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tilt you back a bit, okay, if that's all right. Yeah, just so that I can get a better view. That's it, well done. Great. Great, that's good. Let's get you into a good position. This little light on now. Okay, this will just help me to see really, really closely. There we are. Okay, right. I'm going to get my gloves on now. Nice and comfortable, just relax. Right, don't worry. Stay nice and relaxed, okay? Right, so what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to have a general look in your mouth just to see if there is any thing that stands out straight away. And then I'm going to take a look at um, what teeth you have and what condition they're in. So, wants to just open up. That's it, well done, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Right, okay. So, we've got a one Four, 
four, three. Seven two. Okay, and um, looks like you've got a wisdom tooth um, in your upper right quadrant that has almost fully come through, and it looks really good. Yeah, it looks really healthy. Can often be a tricky spot, but it does look really good. like you've had a filling in um in that one then five yep and there's a filling we've got a um a Malcolm restoration there mm -hmm. yeah. okay um, but it looks good it looks good there's no problem with Behind the back of that one, if you just give that a little, a little extra brush, I'm just gonna see if I can get some of the black off there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, you're doing very well. And it could be tiring. Do you want to just close your mouth for a moment? Use some mouthwash when I'm finished. Okay, yeah. Alright, so so far looking really good. Nothing to worry about. Um, I'm going to look at the your medibula lower. So 
of three. your lower incisors just here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so three, one, two. Three, two, two. Three, three, three. Three, four, two, so that's good. Three, five, three. Okay. Three, six, two. Three, seven, two. a healthy wisdom tooth or not because wisdom teeth tend to be a little bit more uh, on the weak side and it's possible it might need extraction but it might come through healthy but for now just keep doing what you're doing okay mm -hmm. um, okay so last quadrant sizes on that side. teeth that has come through on this side but it is quite possible that you may have one that might come through at a later date um when we do an x-ray we'll be able to see in more detail whether um you do have wisdom tooth there that's on its way through mm -hmm. yeah of course okay so 
Your teeth look in generally good health. <laughs> yes. And I noticed you had one filling. The filling looks very healthy, so don't worry about that one. How long ago did you have your filling? Mm. Okay, so it looked like it's doing really well. Well, the good news is, there's no teeth uh, you need to worry about being extracted, um, which can happen at the late, at the late stage uh, in life, as uh, our teeth grow through a lot of wear and tear every day. Um, be careful with drinking too much fruit juice, as this can damage the enamel on the top of our teeth and mean that cavities can easily form. So, um, just be careful about that. I noticed, if I just have another little look. Okay, open up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but just under. There's a little bit of um, tannin, which is a little bit of staining on your teeth, and I wonder whether that might be due to tea drinking or coffee drinking. Do you drink much tea or coffee? Mm. Okay. Yeah, sure. Mm, yeah, okay. Um, well, what I would suggest is um, between coffee drinking, try and eat something that will absorb the tannin that's left around your mouth. Just kind of wash it away before um, leaving your mouth empty for a while. Or even brush your teeth. Um, if you're an excessive coffee or tea drinker, brush your teeth more often. That can uh, often really, really help things. Okay, I'm going to sit you up a little bit more now. Okay, so are you a little bit more comfortable now? Mm. Mm, yes. Um, I don't need to look so deep into your mouth, so I thought I'd get you to sit up a little bit more and be a little bit more comfortable. Hmm. Do you have any um, particular questions or anything that you're worried about at the moment? Okay, yeah. Right, yes. Um, well, with teeth whitening, we can uh, offer you a course of treatment. And um, it's very, very, very easy. You'd need to come in and we will have a closer look. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yes. Yeah, sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so which teeth were it, was it that you were um, particularly worried about? Let me just have a little look. Yep, all oh, the front ones, of course, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to take my little tool here and just see if any of the coloration that worries you um, is easily removable. Yeah, because we might not need to go down the whitening route if that's the case. Right, okay, I'm just going to have a little look. Okay, all right, yes, open up for me, that's great. and what can happen. I know you were wondering before um, and it's just occurred to me about um, wisdom teeth. If um, if you were interested in seeing what a wisdom tooth might look like or um, what it what it looks like when it's out, but when it's been extracted, I can show you at the end of our session if you'd like. Yes, I'll show you a real one. Yeah? Okay, yeah, if you hold on to the end of the video Okay, if you hold on uh, right until the end, if that's something 
you'd like to look at, I can show you if it's something that creeps you out, which it can creep out a lot of people is looking at teeth, um, then feel free not to, not to stick around at the end and you can go. Mm-hmm, yeah, I just thought it might be of interest to you. Yeah, sure. Okay, I'll get back to having a look at these teeth here. like a lot of this discoloration is coming off but what we will put do um, is book you in for a full um, a full scaling uh, which is really good deep clean and then I can have a look and assess how the condition of your gums are doing now um, what I did notice at the back of your uh, teeth, around the back of your gums, is a is that when I press the gum, it is very quick to bleed in some areas, and this is normally due to um, not enough brushing at the back, because brushing helps our gums to become stronger and helps the blood vessels to be less delicate, meaning that um, there is less likelihood of infection and gingivitis, which is gum disease, um, later on in life. So if you um, take a look, especially the back of your gums, and just give a little bit more care to those areas, then it will do wonders for your mouth, because you have, you have really good teeth. Mm. Yes, absolutely. And considering I haven't seen um, and considering I uh, know that um, you haven't been to see us before and the last time you went to see a dentist was quite a long time ago, um, you have done remarkably well. Mm. Yes, yes definitely. Okay, now what I would like to do is to um, just give a little x-ray of your teeth just to check exactly um, how that wisdom tooth is coming through and whether you've got another one um, coming through on that gum where um, on your bottom bottom uh, jawline so I'm just going to get um, the machine around just to take a little picture inside your mouth now what I will need you to do is I will have a little little piece, square piece, um, of, I think, uh, might be a piece of plastic, which I'm going to put into your mouth. And what I need you to do is put it between your teeth and bite on it very hard so that the x-ray can see the area. And then I will take it out and I will put it in on the other side and I'll do the same on there. Yep. Okay. I'll we'll just get that ready. Okay, so what I need you to do first is to open up quite wide, open up your jaw quite wide, and I'm just going to insert this inside between your teeth. I just want you to hold it there while I get the x ray round. Okay, just to go right. So, okay, just open up, we'll do this side first. That's it, okay, and hold it in there. That's it, yeah. Okay, bite down tight. Yep, bite down tight there. That's right, yep, good, okay. Now I'm just going to bring the x-ray just into the side of your jaw here. Okay, and you hear a beep. There, that's done. Okay, now if you'd like to give me the uh, the piece from your mouth, yep, I'll just grab that. Yeah, okay, yeah, thank you. Right, I'm just going to pop it into the other side. That's that, okay, bite down really hard, really hard, okay, and keep it in there for me. 
and I'll just get the, the x-ray just get this just to the side of your mouth okay and you hear a beep Okay, and I'll just take that piece. Okay, and I'll just take that piece back from you. There, lovely. Okay, well done, you did really well. Now I'm just going to have a little look at the x ray. Okay, right. Mm hmm. Yeah. So it looks like um, the wisdom teeth that I was talking about look fairly good. The one on, on yep, the first one that, uh, yep, yeah, it um, might be coming through at a slight angle, but it, uh, have you felt much movement in it recently? Hmm, or over the last 10 years? <laughs> Okay, well I wouldn't think that that would be anything to be particularly worried about at the moment. Mm, absolutely. And the other one, or the part of your jaw where I thought there might be one, um, it looks like there's one quite deep there in the jaw, but if you haven't felt any movement uh, and I can't see anything, it doesn't look like it's breaking the skin, it's not causing you any particular pain. Mm, no, I don't think it's going to surface anytime soon, but please keep an eye on it, and if you do have any worries, of course, come back to us. Yes, yeah, well, I've been um, really impressed with how well your teeth are doing. Now, let me just book you in um, for a good scaling and a good cleaning uh, around your mouth. Oh. Just before I do that, um, let me just grab you some mouthwash just to clear, clear your mouth, just to help you to feel um, fresh. Um, I've been prodding around a bit in there, so it's good just to get any bacteria out of there, just to see um, and to make sure that not going to have any problems soon. Hmm. Yeah, let me just grab it for you. Okay, so I've got some generic mouthwash here. And give it a good spit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Well done. Okay. Now at home, I would suggest um, either Corsadel or any high street brand of mouthwash. As long as you do it regularly, should help you. Yeah. Okay, so now I'll book you in for next time. probably about 30 minutes, maybe longer. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, you don't need to do anything in preparation for coming to see us again next time, um, but in general um, just follow the advice that I've given you and hopefully that will really help uh, keep your mouth in really really good condition. Yeah. Well, thank you very very much for coming today. And I hope next time we see your teeth, um, they'll be even better. 
Oh, before you go, I promised that I would show you this wisdom tooth, which is a, a real one, and what it would look like. And if you don't like the idea of seeing a real tooth uh, from somebody else, then um, feel free to leave. Okay, are you ready? Alright, so this is a real wisdom tooth. Um, wisdom teeth are very interesting. My gloves are torn. <laughs> yes, thank you. I don't really need them. But, um, <clears throat> yes, the wisdom teeth um, are very unusual and you never quite know how they're going this one is, has one, two, uh, it actually has three, it's got another little root round the back, round the side here, underneath. Um, this wisdom tooth has three roots. Often wisdom teeth just have one root, but this one has three. And um, it's quite fascinating for a dentist, at least, to see how your teeth form. Wisdom teeth can be a lot uh, more weaker than um, your regular adult teeth, but they can be very, very interesting. And um, having a tooth extracted is really not that uh, difficult. If you ever need it doing, all we do is put a couple of injections on each side of the gum area where the tooth is to be extracted and then we will use um, some clamps or tweezers, not tweezers, more sort of um, very grippy sort of pliers to hold the tooth and we will just steadily rock from side to side and this rocking motion will gradually release the tooth and because you've had injections around the tooth, all you'll feel is a bit of pulling and a little bit of sort of tension and you won't feel any pain at all. Then what we would do is put a swab of cotton wool underneath um, or above, depending on where your wisdom tooth is, and get you to clamp your jaw very tightly. And we get you to do this for half an hour which um, is when the bleeding will mostly, and most people, stop. And it is very important to keep the pressure very, very tight on that area because then the blood is more likely to clot. And all being well, um, in a normal healthy case, the gum starts to heal within the next few days if you avoid the area and make sure not to eat on that part of the gum. In some cases, infection may set in and you may need antibiotics or medication directly applied to the area. But in most cases, it heals really well. But yeah, I just thought you'd be interested in seeing what a real wisdom tooth looks like. This one was extracted because on the other side it has a very nasty cavity and it was right at the back of the patient's jaw and it was in an area where you couldn't get behind the tooth to brush it because it was right up against the jaw and no matter what would have been done to it, whether a filling was put there, um, firstly it would have been extremely difficult to place a filling in that area because access is extremely difficult and secondly there would have been no guarantee that it would have worked well and that infection would have stayed out because the area would have been uh, too difficult to brush and keep clean. So there you go, a little bit of extra uh, information for you there. I hope um, that was interesting to you um, and if not and if it wasn't a comfortable thing to talk about, my apologies, um, but um, you're always free to skip past and um, depart from us today. Okay, I'll see you soon.